What up, Jam fans? Welcome to Jam Talk. Yeah. Civilized conversation with two cool dudes. That's right. Today we are going to talk about having a big backyard. A backyard stories in general. We, we didn't always have a big backyard. We had small ones. We still have a ones. blast in our small backyards. That's right. Um, me particularly, I remember, I remember climbing a tree. There was a tree right behind our house mm -hmm. that had this awesome branch that was like unbreakable and you could grab it and kick up against the tree and yeah. like... It was like rubber. Yeah. And they were curved. They were curved branches. Like it was doctor. curved. It had like a nice handle. It was a nice smooth branch. Yeah. Couldn't hurt to grab. Doctor Seuss style tree. That's right. Um, I remember one day uh, we climbed that thing, and we our goal was to get to the top. We wanted to see how high we could get. But came a point where it just got too high, and I'm like, man, I can't do this. I'm just like a little kid. Except that's not. I just thought, but I was just incapable. I'm just a little kid. I was I, incapable. I'm incapable of this. I, I was. I did not did think it. I was. It she was way crisis. too dangerous, and I'm glad I didn't do it. Because at that age, it would have been stupid for me to continue going. But you, I don't know how old you were, but, but you I was, literally touched the top of that tree. But I was stupid, and I did climb that tree. That tree was probably 50, 60 feet tall. The, uh, I was. I was at least four stories off the ground. Yeah, yeah, the because you were you were higher than our roof, and our house was two stories. Yes. And it was, like, way higher than I, I was way higher than the roof. Like, I was really up there. And and it was cool up until about the, like, like last 20 feet of the tree. Because it's so thin. Because the trunk is so thin that it is swaying back and forth while I'm on it. Like, I I can't believe you did that. And I was like... Mom, come take a picture. Yeah, and I remember she telling would not mom, come out. She's, she's like, like I am I'm not, not looking at him in this tree. <laughs> I am going to like have a mom moment and freak out. Yes. Like, mom, but it's so cool. Look. Yeah, and I was, I was, that was a really bad. I was so scared. I remember being so terrified, but I was so determined. determined to, and I pushed you, the top. You did. I was it. like, <laughs> get down, get down, get down. And like. Because if I had fallen, I would have died. Like, for sure. Oh, yeah. Dead. Like, or seriously mangled for the rest of my life. That was such a bad idea. But, but yeah, we did it. Was it. Um, it was fun. <laughs> I, I remember try, trying to climb on top of that branch that we would, like, jump and kick off of. And that branch was just hard to climb on because it was so, it yeah. just moved. It was like some wobbly thing that would, so I, I, I climb on it. I'm like, yeah. And then I, I fell. Off of it. Oh. And then I'm caught by my shorts. <laughs> oh. And I'm hanging by my shorts, and I'm like, I can't get out. And I'm just like, dang it. And I, I can't get out. I'm like, I think Chloe was with me. I'm like, or someone. I'm like, Chloe, go get, go get Dan. He was only, only when he was home. And I'm hanging there, just dangling <laughs> by my shorts. It's like my shorts are ripped, and I'm just hanging there by, them. like. <laughs> and he comes out, and I got yelled at for ruining the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Okay, yeah, nice. those those shorts were ruined. Cool shorts too. They're like well, khakis with a little Mickey Mouse on them. Oh, oh, I remember that. Pair That's of how the, the, my pair of shorts died. <laughs> well, so we around that tree were, were the blackberry bushes. Do you remember those? Yeah. So blackberry bushes are huge where we're where we're from in in Washington. They're, they are literally huge. Like, we didn't have a fence that I was aware of. There was a fence. There but it was, was one. so overgrown with blackberries you could not see we it. We found it eventually, though. Yes. We we cut back those those branches over the summer by, like, we'd, like, build a pathway in the back, a secret pathway. I remember just, like, hacking at that thing with sticks. Yeah, we would I take had my sticks. Ninja Turtle sword, and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, we were like, we would dig tunnels, basically, through the, we'd have, the weeds. We would have to take bathroom breaks in there because it would take too long to get out and then go into the bathroom. Yeah, and we would just pee in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That was, that was so hard to get back there, too, though. I remember a few times there was a part 
in the path we were created and there was no way to go around we had to cut, jump over the fence at one point into yep. the neighbor's property yep and, and then jump, back over and then jump back over on our side and we created this big huge long tunnel that we then used for cops and robbers that's right <laughs> i remember that but yeah so that that was that was a blast as a kid and and speaking of the sticks so we, we would find tons of of um branches and sticks and we would sword fight with sticks was that you that i fought with the pvc pipes with i don't remember little that. pvc pipes i'm fighting with them i just found them in the backyard pretty sure they were my grandpa's our grandpa's but <laughs> I, I found them were, psh, 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 explode it exploded i think we got yelled at <laughs> for ruining the pipes so. Max got yelled at a lot as a kid. Wow, for that, breaking stuff. I, I just thought it'd be fun to like sword fight with. Yeah, man. Yeah, we would do that for for hours, and we would we would like find the perfect sticks and the perfect swords, yeah. and do ninja battles, and it was a blast. Dude, do you remember our treehouse? Oh yeah. When we were younger, we took our dog up there. And, but this, there was something horribly wrong with this treehouse. This treehouse was built before we got there. And it it was a good... There was a handle from the outside, but the inside had no handle. And it closed like like that. So, like, once it's closed from the outside... <clears throat> there's no way to open you it. You can't open it from the inside. We locked ourselves in. We shut treehouse. it, and we couldn't open it. It wouldn't budge. It was too far... Deep. So the <clears throat> the real kicker with this is like that wouldn't have been a problem like we could have just waited there, but when we went up there, it looked like there was a bee a bee's nest in there. Oh yeah, there was. It, yeah, so there was a, there was a bee's nest in there, and so Max and I were freaking out, and we're like, shh, don't don't make noise, we'll wake the bees. I remember that. Shh, we'll wake up the bees. <laughs> and we're in there with like our dog. He's and not, he wasn't barking really. No. And we were we were just in there, and we were like freaked out. And mom finally f figured out. I we think were up there. we were in there for like three hours. <laughs> mom comes in yep. and she like pff, kicks the door oh, open. Yeah, she eventually is in there so long. It's like, where are they? I'm, I'm glad she figured that out that we were stuck in the tree. <laughs> yeah, <house>. thanks, mom. <laughs> Good mom. She was probably scared. Like, where the heck are they? Yeah. They gone for so long so then there's a not so cool version of this story where our sisters smuggled um new puppies from our oh, dog yeah. that we had so newborn had, puppies, puppies up this tree house this this is a dangerous stairwell too yes so that like stairwell broken rickety, down we a, broke it it's a real rickety stairwell a stairwell it's like creaks wood, as you walk and it there. swings back and forth not it, it's just a sketchy sketchy thing we'll yeah. have to find a picture or something but so they weren't allowed to take the puppies outside so what did they do they're like they won't ever find us in the tree house and so they took the puppies and they did the same thing they got stuck up there and locked themselves in but not only were they the door get kicked down for them they were in big trouble it was awesome <laughs> they we were just trapped yeah, they we were, were stuck we weren't breaking any rules or anything we were they, just stuck they broke the rules and then were just destined to be caught because there was they were stuck <laughs> that sucks for them <laughs> yeah do you remember doing parkour yeah as, as well, we would we would practice running up the side of the house and grabbing on and then climbing up yeah. we would jump a story up. i had a lot more confidence in my physical abilities because i mean you know that that i climbed that tree which i would never do that now like no way and then i remember running outside the back and i'm like front flip and i jumped to do a front flip and landed straight on my butt like <laughs> boom just like slammed on my tailbone it hurt so bad i could not walk for like a you, day you know what i mastered though because i i i did master the barrel roll oh where we you just like run and roll like that wasn't it's hard like, it's like a tuck and roll it. that's not it's a, scary the first time so we called that a barrel roll but that's not a barrel roll I don't know why we called it that. Yeah, like a barrel roll is like a plane. I'm like, still calling it that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know, I'll call it a barrel yeah. roll because that's what it's that's called. That's because what we did. So you jump, tuck, and roll into a somersault. So if you're jumping, and then you really get up high. and keep running. So you just like, yeah. like a nice flow movement. And we would do that, and we would we would um, jump and climb things 
Um, we climbed on top of our wood roof, like our wood shed roof, and then we jumped on top that of was our, our That port. was probably our first, our first climb, was when we climbed on our shed, that wood shed. Yeah. And then we'd get on the carport from there. Well, and then do you remember, I don't know why we did this. This is not, when I'm thinking about this now, this is such a bad idea. We would run off of the roof, jump, and then land and do a barrel roll, and get up and keep running. What are you grass. talking about? Yeah, we did that. What? Off what roof? Off the, the woodshed roof. So we'd climb up the stairs, and the woodshed... Where would we jump? Into the grass. So you have to clear the little... There's no grass there! That's dirt! No, 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 grass. Dan's grass. We would run to the side really? and jump. Yeah, do you, you don't remember this? I don't remember jumping so, off so that we, roof. We, there's this roof. It's like a long, long... Not that long, but like 20 feet or so of roof. What? Built by us. Like our family built this thing to store wood underneath. And we ran, and we would jump. Oh, I was thinking about the wrong one. I'm thinking about the one by the, uh, where we store our bikes. Yeah, no, no, not that I was thinking running off that. I'm like, what? That's impossible. Right into the thorns. That's where we would Yeah, jump. that's where I'm like, what? No, no, okay. you know where I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. It's where we had all our wood. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so we, we I would run. jump off that, even yeah. though that roof was so unstable. It was like, it, that was that was jumping from like 15 feet in the air. Like Really? Yeah, that's a pretty... Uh, Dang, we're boss kids, man. Yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm I'm like, re I remember, wow. though, thinking, though, like, we were smart enough to know, okay, we got to step where the beams are. I was smart enough to, I don't know about you. I didn't do that. <laughs> I did. I'm like, all right, I don't want to fall through this roof, so I'm going to step where, like, the wood beams are. So I'm doing that. It would be the perfect hiding place, too, when we wanted to. I remember one day I waited up there so long just with a bucket of water to get my victim I got in trouble for doing that. <laughs> oh my goodness! Good times. I, uh, then I, I I climbed on that roof too. That, that became my my quiet place because we have so many siblings. I would go on that roof, and I'd have some peace and quiet up there. And then I'd bring my airsoft guns up there too and just start shooting things. I accidentally shot someone once. Oh no! She was got she in was, trouble for that probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I shot her on accident. And she was like, oh, it's okay. It was an accident. But our sister, Lily, is like, you shot her. I'm going to tell on you. I'm like, but she says it, she, she's fine. And she's like, nope, I'm going to get you. Because she had an obsession with getting us in trouble. <laughs> Probably still would if I lived there. Uh, <laughs> but so I, yeah, I got, I got yelled at. I think that was like Maybe last year or a year ago. <laughs> One or two years ago. Like that was, that was, ago. That's that like was later fairly years. recent. I was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, big backyards are fun. Backyards are fun. Yeah, for sure. Well, you know. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Yeah, and make sure you tell your kids to play outside. You know. Kids, don't jump off the roof. Ever. Or Actually, climb trees four stories tall. No, no. Do do that. You no. Don't live. Don't do that. Do not do that. We are not. Don't listen to this dad here. Yeah, like, we, not, we do. We do not uh, support that kind of activity. But we do support. I'm kidding. <laughs> liking if you like, sharing if you caring, and subscribing if, if you're, you're wanting awesomeness. more awesomeness. Subscribe for more awesomeness.